Dear Sayyidi, how do we know what we feel in tafakkur is real or just something we have imagined? How do we know what we feel in tafakkur is real or something we imagined? Alhamdulillah I think we, we talked about the, the tafakkur and, and how to not focus on anything that you're feeling. Whatever vision you have annihilate yourself in your annihilation that, I didn't come for that, I don't need to see that, I don't need that and keep annihilating yourself until you ask that, I only want the ocean of power, I only want to feel the energy and the fires entering into my heart. And that is a continuous testing so that not to try to meditate to see something because then your nafs is entering into that and may begin to show you many things and then that becomes imaginal and illusional world. This is only about, I need to see my shaykh and I need to be at Rosa Sharif and I need to ask for my shaykh, please let your light enter into my heart. And it's a light that you feel and you feel your heart like somebody grabbed it because the lights that are coming in they're jalali and they're like a lightning come and begin to grab your chest. And that you ask that, I want to be dressed from this light, dressed from this light. You then your imaginal world will come and say, oh like here's a jubba, here's a cane, here's a sword, here's all these things coming to you. Your duty at that time is, I'm not in need of any of that, I'm asking only to reach the oceans of light and then you begin to again focus, bring your focus back in which you're asking the light to dress you, do your aura, do your breathing practices and dress yourself from these zikrs and this reality inshaAllah. And it's about feeling the energy, not seeing it, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum dearest Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa what does it mean if you have the constant feeling that time is running out for you and everything? What, what was the, the beginning of the question? The, the constant feeling of time is running out? Yeah. For everything. Yeah, it, it, it's, it can be good to feel that time is running out because we don't know when we're going to pass away from this world. <clears throat> All of it is based on preparing ourselves for the hereafter. So with all these sicknesses and all these difficulties Allah give for us a sign that uh, don't plan so far ahead. At any moment something happens and you pass away. So it's supposed to be a catalyst for that experience that we believe that, oh at any moment you know my life could be finished. I should have a very good relationship with Allah a very close and loving relationship with Sayyidina Muhammad and I look to my life and say, who's my companionship? Because I show me your friends and I show you who you are, then that would give me a sign of, of what, what am I trying to do with my life. If you really believe difficulty and time is up, then are you with the Muhammadiyuns? Are you with the people whom are trying to to improve themselves and are you with the people of the circles of paradise? If you are with those people in this world then you can imagine you'd be with those people in the hereafter because this is the companionship that you chose to keep in this world. So this is very important that all these practices and all the signs that Allah is showing upon the horizon, it gives the servant the ability to really believe, oh I think time is really running out. So when I meditate, my meditate is much, my meditation becomes much stronger, my tafakkur and, and uh, connection with the light should become much stronger because all my outside senses are also agreeing, doesn't look like much is going on, they wanted everything on one thing and it collapsed overnight. Well there's a bit, Bitcoin, 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 <laughs> ooh ah, Bitcoin, 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 well, what happened to Bitcoin? It went down to collapse, the whole world like that. You know the people whom are riding this world like it's going to go forever and then it collapses and then they're shocked. But uh, Allah gave many signs that these things are all collapsing. So alhamdulillah try to do your best for Allah try to, to build and to do for Allah before we do for ourselves. 
And then alhamdulillah the rest is, is, is all the gravy and all the blessings. If we're doing what we can for Allah for Prophet the rest is then alhamdulillah the accounts should be good and Allah inshaAllah happy with the servant. Mm. As Salaamu Alaikum Ya Sayyidi <coughs> Wa Alaikum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah What is the reality of modern day music frequencies and how does it affect one's energy? What's the reality of <coughs> modern day music frequencies and how does it affect one's energy? We have a whole subject on the Nur Muhammad website for people who, who want to learn these things from all these talks is you basically can type in frequency and, and sound and you pull up all the, the written articles which will have all the Qur'an and hadith and the links to the videos that, that the, these subjects have all been talked about. That the immensity of sound in the last days is why Allah sent the most praised one the one whom comes with the most highest divine frequency and brings for this earth a book in which is recited and, and almost recitation so melodic that it is memorized by its reciters which there's no book on earth that is like that. And that's why Allah in the last day, the last chapter of this earth he brought down all of the sound representatives, Muhammad means the meme for most hum, most praised one in Divinely Presence. Most praised one means the one whom one makes a praise is most accepted by the Divinely Presence. So the reality of Prophet soul is all about sound and that's why Allah sent it at the last days to raise the frequency of creation before Allah judges this creation and everything is destroyed. Everything is brought to dust before the presence of the, the Most High. And that's why the power of Qur'an is based on sound. From Sayyidina Isa salam brought the Injil, again brought a book in which was the spoken word. So these were all based on sound and frequency. So when we study the frequency our life is to raise our frequency to an angelic frequency. The raising of that frequency changes the power of the soul, changes the power of the form and destroys the devils that are trying to attach itself with people. So these sicknesses that are coming, there are multiple phases. There's a, a sickness, what you call a virus, there's an unseen being what we call a jinn when the two are working together it sends something within the person to begin to occupy. And the outside jinn is also trying to attach itself to insan and the two of them are locking to go in and destroy insan and to bring them down. With the power of sound what you recite and what you praise is working at many different levels. The praise, the zikr, the du'as, the salawats that they're giving you to read in your mind doesn't make sense but the radiance of your soul when it recites these du'as it one is fighting that entity that's inside because now the soul haq and the truth of the soul becomes stronger and it pushes out every falsehood and what Allah described when the truth comes all falsehood goes and zahukan. That the falsehood that coming in and being shot into you, put into you, Allah will make this sickness to be zahukan in which it comes and the truth of your soul annihilates it and make it like a shattered dust and spit it out, vomit it out or excrete it out from your body. And at the same time the energy that you're putting upon your soul with the zikrs, the medicines, everything. You take the, the medicine they give you so that your physicality doesn't collapse. And you do all of your spiritual practices and zikrs so that your soul's power comes and again pushes the entity on the outside away from the body so that it's not attaching itself. So those who don't have a zikr, they don't do these spiritual practices, what happens is that they only take a medicine. But that medicine is only helping a physicality, the inner thing that's attached is not leaving. And they say that they're sick for many, many, many months. It's just a lingering sickness because this entity inside didn't go and the entity on the outside is already clinging. So the medicine only fixed your physicality 
and only that can be temporary because the, the inner sickness is still there its core and still working on trying to destroy that human. So many, many different difficulties and realities. Now imagine now bad sound, these are all the angelic sounds. Bad sound is the same, the shaitan comes with these bad sounds, bad words, bad cursing, all of that for what? To bring the energy of insan down so that demonic possession can take place very fast. And that's why these children who are listening to these sounds, they, they repeat demonic phrases and that's all the shaitan wants. It makes them his dominion, his minions, not dominion, dominion over them and makes them to be his minions and his, his, his soldiers. And that's the danger of these realities and the danger of these times that they listen to these sounds and these creatures begin to enter into them. InshaAllah save us with dhikr and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to raise our frequencies and, and to grant us a protection and understanding. Those whom can witness and feel their zikrs they feel their heated state. Those who can witness it can see the colors of their zikr. These colors come out and begin… You got paused Sayyidi. To destroy… what's that? You got paused for the ten seconds. Ten seconds? <laughs> the colors you were talking about. You're talking about colors. Colors. That the zikr, those whom they can see the zikr that they're reciting have colors. And these salawats are of a amazingly beautiful green color. These green lights come and go after all of these negativities and devils. Those whom are reciting these green lights, that's why Mawlana Shaykh would say often, wear green, wear green, why, well, why wear green? Because it has an immense power against shayateen and you wear it but the most powerful wearing of green is that when you're busy making durood and salawat, immense lights, green lights, the fragrant light of Sayyidina Muhammad is emanating from the heart and soul of that creature. As they're reciting these, those beings are running away. So they're not able to attach themselves to those lights and they get burned by those lights. So many, many different realities and sound plays the most important and that's why the salawats and the watching of the zikr and the du'as, all of that inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi <coughs> Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah How to deal with cheating and betrayal? Are we to forgive and forget without confronting? How to deal with what? Cheating and betrayal. Are we to Cheating forgive and forget and without betrayal? Confronting? Yeah. Are we to forgive and forget without confronting? It has a how to deal with cheating and betrayal. It has to, it's much deeper than, than confronting and fighting. So that has its own reality, that's something you have to email at helpme at nurmuhammad.com. It's not a simple answer but whatever the test is and whatever the relationships are then those have to be understood. That the, there's, a, there's a consequence for everything, so those, those consequences have to be understood and the ability to forgive and the ability to have a better characteristic and Allah raise the servant to be higher and higher with the, the oceans of forgiveness and rahmah and the one whom muslihoon, whom always trying to make peace and goodness and Allah is raising that servant. So many, many blessings in, in being patient and, and being peaceful and trying to keep the peace and uh, those whom can practice that inshaAllah Allah bless them and, and bless them from those oceans of rahmah and mercy. In these days those are more important than trying to find the justice through fighting. If, if we're describing last days and we're describing affliction is coming, what's more important for you to have in your hand right now? Allah's rahmah or justice? So under Allah's rahmah, Allah says, you turn the case to me then let me reward you. 
And what Allah reward a servant of good character, of good nature, of always trying to make peace, then in these days we need Allah's immense rahmah. If we're to survive these difficulties, to, 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 para, to prosper during all of these difficulties, we need Allah's rahmah. But if the servant says, no I want Allah's judgment and justice, what will you do with that at this stage? Say then the people they break up their relationships, they break up their families, they go their own way and, and now what? Now you have all of these difficulties that you have to face and you have to face them now alone. So many, many different difficulties open. If the person is, is patient and capable of good character then Allah's rahmah dress them, bless them. And this is true for even worse crimes. That if somebody was to harm somebody physically, you have the right to ask for money. You have the right to ask for eye for an eye if somebody harmed you. You have the right to ask for same thing back, I want to go and harm the person, you're one level. Then Allah said, if you don't do that you have the right to ask for money. So you go and say, I want to be compensated for this wrong that you've done to me. Or third is that you turn your case to Allah and Allah is the best of those to judge. In these days of difficulty, what would somebody choose if somebody hurt you? You know the difficulty everywhere, horrible things are in the air everywhere. You have a family to, to guard and to protect. You really want to go for eye for an eye? And then Allah said, okay then I also will keep that in mind for you. In the event you harm anyone we're going eye for an eye, judge not for you should be judged. Same criteria will come back to that person. Then they say, no maybe that's going to be harsh, give me some money. What are you going to do with money in the face of all of these difficulties? Then the highest is they turn their life over to Allah Ya Rabbi the person did this and I don't, I don't want anything, I just want your rahmah and mercy for me that I leave my case to you. By means of that maybe Allah take away many difficulties from that servant because the character was correct, the, the understanding was in tawakkul and, and, and submitting to Allah inshaAllah, inshaAllah. But all three are option for people, it's what do they want in these days of difficulty and what type of results do they want inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir al-Sur al-Fatiha.